What's up guys, it's Jonathan, and today we're gonna to be talking about the 10 things you didn't know about the Range Rover Sport. Now most of the hidden features are in the gauge cluster and the infotainment, so that's where we'll start. All right guys, let's start this with number one, and that is the hidden volume controls. Now you can turn the volume up or down, just right here. Volume up, volume down. And there's also a physical control in the center. Turn the volume up, turn it down. But there's a third way. On the volume, instead of pressing the button, simply slide your finger around it. Just like that. And that will turn the volume up or down. It works at any position. You don't need to be right on the volume. You can be down here and do it. Anywhere on there will work. And it only works for volume control. So it uh, doesn't work on this side of the steering wheel, only the volume. Number two is the back button feature in the gauge cluster. Now this gauge cluster is pretty detailed and there's a lot of menus and sub menus and it's easy to get lost in it. And sometimes, you know, you just wanna get back to the beginning and instead of scrolling all the way to the top and then over, simply press the left button and hold it and you'll go back to the home screen. I'm gonna press this and hold it. And there you go. You cleared out of whatever you were doing and you're right back to the home screen. All right, number three, wallpapers and screensavers. Yes, this vehicle has wallpapers and screensavers. And you can probably see the wallpaper because that's what's on the main screen in the background. And maybe you know how to change it, maybe you don't, but you probably don't know that it actually has screensavers, which are a lot nicer. I'm gonna show you how to access them. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the wallpapers. And you can see on the home screen here, it has these trees outlined, very faint wallpaper. Uh, there's not much differentiation between them. You'll see what I mean in a second. To access it, you're gonna go to settings at the bottom of the screen. Then you're gonna go to home settings and then wallpaper. And then here you see, sorry for the flickering, but you've got six different shades of gray and white and a little bit of blue. So we'll change it to something here. I don't know what this looks like. It's just a white, I and mean, you might not be able to see this. Oh, there it is. That's this little diamond pattern there. So that's how you get to that. Now let's talk about the screensavers, which are far nicer. Again, to access them, you're gonna to go to settings at the bottom of the screen. And this time you're gonna to go to all settings. And then you're gonna to go to general at the top and there's screensaver there. And then there's a sub menu to get into the screensavers. And there you go. You've got six different Range Rover screensavers on here and you can pick whichever one you want. Um, again, you can shortcut the screen to show the screensaver. I have it defaulted to pressing and holding on this diamond button and that is your favorites button. So if I press it once, it mutes it. If I press and hold it, it'll turn to my screensaver. So I'm gonna do that. And that's the screensaver that I've selected. All right, guys, let's go to number four and that is the visor light. So if you're a girl, you open this up, check your makeup and everything. You close it back up thinking the light will go off understandable but it doesn't go off the only way this light goes off is if you close the shade and i'm going to show you what i mean we're going to keep it open and we're going to close it all the way to the top the light's still on still on it's still on it's actually closed right now and the light is still on so that's something to keep in mind for you know saving your battery all right, guys, number five, which not so big, but still something worth mentioning. And that is that the windshield washers have a one touch feature. A lot of times people will spray their windshield and they'll hold the lever back um, for as long as they want the water to spray. This one, you don't need to. You just press it one time and it does everything. Just a tap. and they go off. The same works for the rear washer wipers. There's also a courtesy wipe. There it is. And the same works for the rear windshield wiper. Just press this button once. Oh. 
All right, guys, feature number six, and it's a very interesting one. Uh, Range Rovers are sold all over the world, and one thing that uh, the vehicle allows you to do is, whether you're driving here in America or you're driving in a country where they drive on the right side of the road, it allows you to prioritize the headlight direction for the side of the road that you're driving. Let me show you what I mean. So to get to this feature, you're gonna go to menu, they're going to scroll over to your settings and then exterior lighting and then headlights driver side which you'll be able to select either driver side or right side and it ever so slightly and you will not be able to see in the daylight um, will shift the headlight direction more to the right or more to the left depending on which side you choose. All right, guys, let's go to feature number seven, and that has to do with a gas cap. A lot of cars have a little holder right here. Um, this one has a little cord, but of course you don't wanna just let it hang like that. So where does the gas cap go? There's nothing right here. You actually hold it on this right here. So you're gonna take this and just set it right on top, just like that. So in case you were wondering, which I was when I first put gas in the car, that's where the gas cap goes. All right, guys, number nine. This is a pretty big one because it has to do with the tailgate and the kick to open feature and where the heck the sensor is for that. Almost every single car, the sensor is right here underneath. You just kick it and open it, kick it. And no matter what you do, you can kick, you can dance. It's not opening anywhere here. So where is this sensor? Well, the sensor is actually located right behind the back tire and this parking um, sensor. So right in here is where you're actually going to kick. And there you go. I am not really sure why Range Rover put the sensors on the side. Maybe it had something to do with, you know, interfering with the off-road capabilities, making sure they're protected. I'm not sure. If you guys know, leave a comment. Let me know why are they off the side and not um, on the back? Because there is almost never a situation where I have walked up to the vehicle and said, oh my God, they're off to the side. So convenient because you almost always approach your vehicle from behind. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, guys, number nine, and that is the function of the max AC and the max defrost controls. Now, people may think that their vehicle is broken because these buttons do not work if you just press them. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's press, nothing. Press, nothing. Press, 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 nothing. Nothing, it does not work. What's going on? These buttons to activate them, you have to press and hold them for a second, and then they'll turn on. So let's try it. Press hold there it is turn that back off and that's how you turn it off same thing with the defrost press and hold now it's on and now it's off all right guys the next thing you probably didn't know about this vehicle is that it will tell you when you're approaching a red light camera let's take a listen That notification is the sound. Now, if you'll look in your instrumentation, you've got these little red circles. That shows you that there is a red light camera. And then also in your gauge cluster, you'll see, or your navigation screen, you'll see the little circles too. So that actually took me a long time to figure out um, because there's no notifications in the gauge cluster or in the central navigation saying, hey, red light camera approaching or anything like that um, you just hear the sound you, there's no warning or no banner or anything uh, I thought it was the side mirrors of from the blind spot monitors going off I thought it was an error in the lane keeping that saying I was going over the line took me forever to figure out what that was hidden feature. well guys that's it those are the 10 hidden features of the Range Rover Sport that I know but if you know more which I'm sure you guys do leave them in the comments I'd love to learn about them now, I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. I'm not a YouTuber, so um, but I am getting a lot of people still subscribing, and I really appreciate that. It surprises me, honestly. So kind of motivates me to do
do some more videos. So I've got some more stuff coming up here soon. So I'll try to get them out to you guys at least, I'm gonna say, let's say once a week. Let's try to do once a week. I'm gonna commit to that for as long as I can. I got a lot of stuff going on, but I'm gonna bring you guys on the journey with me and um, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye, thanks. <laughs>